time for the blood. Say something when we came back. But I guess not, and we're just gonna get going. Hey, no. So, once again, I can get a star player. I don't. I guess he didn't count. I think I still want to start a player. And then I want to take... I think this is how I'm going to play it. I don't know if this is the right choice. There's been some discussion if I should just do, like... I got exactly the wait. Hire so I hire one for. Ugh. I feel like I do need this because he has a lot of. We'll see if I'm wrong. Because uh, I was suggested maybe if you get a, uh, a halfling uh, sheep, chef. But I'm worried about him you know, kind of just pushing the front line because he has a Yeti and he has a plus one strength guy. So there's a major. And he has like, a roster that's larger than 11. So even if I push off or take out like, some of his line, I'm not really uh, guaranteeing myself like a better position. So I think it's still better for me to go for a 12th guy who's also a powerhouse and he's gonna help me kind of dictate how I want uh, dictate how I want these to go. Blood Bowl. Yes, that's right, Jim. Another exciting encounter is about to get underway. Should be a classic, oh, Bob. God. I spoke to the ref earlier on, and he says he'll be looking to keep a low profile. If this doesn't end up in a massacre, I'm a goblin. Oh, you're safe for today, Jim. They're in for hiding. Are four strings, and he's a four strength dude. Then he has his actual empty five string. <laughs> this guy is fun.
Let me see. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you mm. playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh yes, they were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snapping of a wizard's neck. And look who's stepping onto the pitch. Wow! A veritable Blood Bowl legend. And what am I then? A venerable Blood Bowl legend. Great control! Yeah! Yes! Okie dokie. Ah. Uh. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Let's move on. We can thank the Necromantic Broadcasting Circle for introducing the sport to so many necromancers. That's true, Jim. Blood Bowl would surely be empty without howling yeah. werewolves and flesh golems and their replacement limbs. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, yes. oh my god! Oh my god! That looks like a test to me, Bob. Well, he really took one to the head. I have the most ridiculous turn ones. I seriously don't get.
Did you hear about the evil Gits? The team that is made up of a mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Wow. I, I just... That doesn't really happen. That's... Did you know that the Berserkers are selected from the thirstiest most players? Uh, no. Yes, the head coach tells the team uh. they have run out of beer, and the one that enters the most furious rage becomes the new team Berserker. They run out of beer in Norse teams? Of course not, Bob. The head coaches just tell the players that if they're low on Berserkers. is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Uh, so they say, uh, but it really only comes out of taking a few hits. Uh, uh.
one of the most famous Norse teams out there, Jim, the Vinheim Valkyries, uh. more recently known as Vinheim Rampagers. Perhaps you could tell the fans why they changed their name, Bob. Sure can, Jim. They went into hiding after they pillaged and burned down Skalgrim and Host, the only sponsor that withdrew their sponsorship up to this day. Bob, I'm going to pay for what finesse, what style, what perfection. What a hammer blow. Say much about that. Full blooded, but perfectly legal. Looks like the star player has taken a sudden interest in the state of the pitch. Well, someone will be taking a sudden interest in his head if he doesn't come round pretty quickly. the Badlands dead skins and their mummies back in the old days, Bob. A very interesting story indeed, Jim. Apparently, Javlock Kavlock, the head coach of the dead skins, was unable to find some preserved mummies, so he fielded two flesh golems instead. Indeed, Bob, and he clad them from head to toe in bandages. <laughs> Senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. Today's insight comes from Jaime Schnibble, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Bats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. About to keep his team's position in the rankings. and then pow, right in the face.
recent medical reports state that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in blood bone players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. Berserkers, Yetis, Ulf Werners. I'll bet you like this, Jim. Of course, Bob. To be brutally honest, I always enjoy a pack of raving maniacs. Spoken as a true Blood Bowl fan, Jim. That one's gonna hurt. If he doesn't really. If I don't put onto his team and bring that. Or bring that guy back up, that's gonna really hurt. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. Oh. We don't see much of the Heroes of Law these days. I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the Heroes of Law hope <laughs> to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. It's probably a good thing we don't see them. Risky. Aww. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. Oh, it's world's really world's ugly. Glorious.
Do you remember when the first necromantic teams started to appear in the minor circuits, Bob? Oh yeah, that sure was fun, Jim. Especially when they fielded skeletons and werewolves at the same time, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the werewolves kept running away with the skeleton's bones, much to the delight of the fans. <laughs> I got rid too greedy there. I should have just moved him out of the way. As soon as he throws his first punch, we know the opponent will be out for lunch. He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. Got way too greedy. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. the slapping box and gives rather generously did you know that the grimjacks were the very first team to experiment with flesh golems instead of mummies oh yeah bob the famous flesh golem frank enstein made a debut with that team oh yeah jim frank was a count of his replacement limbs he may be a star but he hit the deck just like any other player just look at the way his feet and hands are twitching. The punch is still echoing round his body. <laughs> Good recovery. What if he throws and fails? Well, the rumor must be true. These guys don't even have enough money to buy a ball for training. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so much safer. Corruption so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under agreement signed last season, clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. That was sad. There's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, it was a short conversation.
Did you know that the Grimjacks were the very first Elsa team hands. to experiment with Elsa flesh hands. golems instead of mummies? Oh yeah, Bob. Let it be a the theme. famous flesh golem Frank Einstein made a debut with that team. Oh yeah, Jim. Frank who lost out of his replacement limbs. <laughs> Ouch! That punch knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. Did what I needed to do, so you can't stop. Oh, I mean, he potentially Who could forget the infamous 2472 oh, Quagmire yeah, incident when me. rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader State to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. Hmm. Well, no, I won't be able to score, because I'll be on eight. Boom! In the face! And then followed by a clean uppercut! Well done! This is definitely a game where I would not feel bad for just going zero zero. I would really not. Uh, this is probably one of my area opponents tactically. Every now and again, he's only Blood played Norris. If he's played Norris he's probably like the motley horde. Like several years. It's made up of a bunch maybe of maybe five years. Yeah. Can't be easy to coach those cats every day them. of the week. <sighs> He's a specialist. Covered the ball. Yeah, can move. Very unsafe tackle zone. Do you remember? 
remember when the first necromantic teams started to appear in the miners' circuits, Bob? Oh, yeah, that sure was fun, Jim. Especially when they fielded skeletons and werewolves at the same time, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the werewolves kept running away with the skeleton's bones. <laughs> 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 Alright, even if he moves, he needs this guy to actually score. I don't have any reward. Is this as YOLO as it gets? Swilling, spear brandishing, yeti wrestling oh, lunatics. And that's just the apothecaries, Jim. <clears throat> Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, uh, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. It's right one. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. All right, the team. Over. Not soon enough for some players, eh, Bob? No, I'm good enough now. I need to do this condition. Come back. Okay. That's good. I can... <clears throat> I can menu now. Coming back. Um... We're going to do something. But please kick me this one. Or please don't kill me this one. Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? Here's a player who's marked Blood Bowl history. Maybe, but I can remember marking his face with my studs.
doesn't remember the Badlands dead skins and their mummies back in the old days, Bob? A very interesting story indeed, Jim. Apparently, Javlock Havlock, the head coach of the dead skins, was unable to find some preserved yeah, mummies, he have so he fielded two oh, flesh golems instead. Indeed, Bob. He clad them from head to toe mm. in bandages. <laughs> <laughs> Which also kind of works because I can break off this guy by using it. Attack the wall. Here we go again for another bloodbath. Oh, he really wants that frenzy. Uh. Somebody making a break for it. I say he doesn't reach the changing room. Nice strength. That was my fault. I've heard of teams that have simply disappeared after being abandoned by their supporters. Let's say that some teams who haven't won a match for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's the only way to end a downward spiral. to see more often without his arm that player could have been hurt but it hurts I can hear the scream all right this half is not going as well First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start running through the left. Okay, I know. I'm gonna try to push. Excellent. Billy really, really needed it. I bet those yetis don't like playing the dungeon bowl, Bob. That's right, Jim. Some Norse teams downright refuse to play in that cup, claiming it to be inhumane. That's strange, Bob. Didn't figure any Norse team to be humane. He checked that move. Made him look stupid, you mean?
we can thank the Necromantic Broadcasting Circle for introducing the sport to so many necromancers. That's true, Jim. Blood Bowl would surely be empty without howling werewolves and flesh golems and their replacement limbs. Oh, I gotta go always go somewhere. Yeah, sure. Hmm. The opponent looks like he's fighting himself. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to go with the star play. Do you remember when first necromantic oh, teams God. started to appear in the minor circuits, Bob? Oh yeah, that sure was fun, Jim. Especially when they fielded skeletons and werewolves at the same right, time, so Bob. Ah. <laughs> I remember the werewolves kept running away with the skeleton's bones, much to the delight of the fans. <laughs> One regulation clobbering. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. Luckily for him, he's a coma. Yeah, but I think it will still be hurting when he comes round in a day or two. Mm -hmm. to go with his big uh. reputation. Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Yeah, no way. A little elf beauty? Yeah. I screwed myself up. Yep. I think she's singing him a lullaby. I don't think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's not. Alright, so I'm pretty much not scoring. Um, so I have to pressure him. To... Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. I want to paint him. I'm pretty sure this is not. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 
I'm causing him pain. He's done. Yeah. That's Down. That's one way to look at things. Did you know that well in advance of the match, the Berserkers will often start quaffing flagons of ale before whipping themselves into a frenzy? That can sure be useful, Bob. I don't want to spend we the that someday. We well, better have to, to, to the to professionals, Jim. You already look a little pale. Yeah, my options. Get it? Pale. Uh, never mind. What you can do, Ryan? Hold the ball for a couple turns. Or can you? Ah, ah, ah. I think you can. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. Yeah. And just how effective will one bodyguard be Assuming against a stadium full of supporters? True. It could be a bit one-sided. It's not looking good for the defense.
But first... Berserkers, yetis, oof -worders. I'll bet you like this, Jim. Of course, Bob. To be brutally honest, I always enjoy a pack of raving maniacs. Spoken as a true Blood Bowl fan, Jim. some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Did you know that the Grimjacks were the very first team to experiment with flesh golems instead of mummies? Oh, yeah, Bob. The famous flesh golem, Frank Einstein, made a debut with that team. Oh, yeah, Jim. Frank lost count of his replacement limbs. I'm not sure what I'm going to try and do. Probably. Yeah, he's getting blocked. That's so oh, funny. Man. Oh. The catcher missed the ball, fool. Maybe they should have brought it on a silver tray. Okay. What? 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 Uh... Uh... I guess? Uh... He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. They can get their game going again. Who doesn't remember the Batlands dead skins and their mummies back in the old days, Bob? A very interesting story indeed, Jim. Apparently, Javlock Kavlock, the head coach of the dead skins, was unable to find some preserved mummies, so he fielded two flesh golems instead. Indeed, Bob, and he clad them from head to toe in bandages. Pretty sure I'm gonna end up going zero zero. How do you put this guy's gonna die? Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see more often. Yep. Oh. 
I bet those yetis don't like playing the Dungeon Ball, Bob. That's right, Jim. Some Norse teams downright refuse to play in the cup, claiming it to be inhumane. That's strange, Bob. Didn't figure any Norse team to be humane. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh yes, they were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well wizards stood out. Charged from a raving blood ball star, the noise uh. aided by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snap of the wizard's neck. Passing tackle. I'm, I'm sure he's gonna have this here. All the way to the back. Hmm. 
Did you know that well in advance of the match, the Berserkers will often start quaffing flags of ale before whipping themselves into a frenzy? That can sure be useful, Bob. We should try that someday. We better leave that to the professionals, Jim. You already look a little pale. Get it? Pale? Uh, never mind. can thank the necromantic broadcasting circle for introducing the sport to so many necromancers. That's true, Jim. Blood Bowl would surely be empty without howling werewolves and flesh golems and their replacement limbs. With a player of his ilk coming onto the pitch, the match is going to take on a completely different complexion. Blood red. written on their faces as they traipsied out onto the pitch. Oh, my first loss. Oh, Straped into their backs. Pretty good one, I think. They can't have any qualms about that defeat. What do you expect from yeah. a team that uh, can't keep the ball? Collective suicide? It's surplus. MVP surplus. looks great on a CV, but what really counts is for the team to win. Well, he did his best, but it just wasn't good enough. There you go. But was it one there side you that only wanted to play oh, the love or the other that dead. only Holy wanted money. to attack? Whatever it was, the team hardly left their half of the pitch. It's pretty good game. What? Not one player doped? Let me express uh, just a teensy-weensy bit of surprise! Uh, well, if it's true, it will definitely go down in the annals. Did you see a referee out there today? I don't know. I definitely did see any cards.
Alright, I'll catch you guys later.